Hey guys, this is Beth, the Muscle and Mascara Mama. Some of our confidence really comes from feeling comfortable. And one of the things that I've always struggled with is my skin. Now this is a really bad breakout session. And what I found with Unique is amazing coverage that doesn't clog my skin. So it allows it to breathe and it allows it to heal. A lot of times you'll use concealers that won't let your skin heal and it just keeps on being a repetitive process. So I'm gonna go through today my steps for clear skin. Aside from your skincare routine, your face wash, all that stuff, this is what I'm using. So I'm starting with the Glorious Primer, which is just gonna even out the canvas that we're gonna work on today. We're just gonna rub this all over and then let it dry just a tad. Now, a lot of times I do my eye makeup first so I can clean it up. Um, after without ruining my skincare. But what you want to do with your concealer is go two shades lighter. Um, so I'm using Scarlet, which is a very neutral color. Um, you also might want to pay attention to yellow tones or pink tones, depending on what you're trying to cover up um, or what your skin tone is like. So I'm just using a concealer brush here and I'm just going to dab on the problem spots here. I know there's kind of a lot of them. But the biggest thing is, you know, making sure you take care of our skin, you know, as best as you can. I have medication that I take as well, but um, because of the things that I have going on, it doesn't always fix it. Here's our other thing about concealers when we're trying to mask under eye circles is making a triangle. So what that's going to do is pull it up and out and away from your um, Eyes. So you want to disguise those under eye bags by pulling that darkness away from your skin. And it does start all the way up into that crease for a lot of us. So another option is to use a blending bud, uh, which are great too. I have that here and you just wet it and then blot it in. It gives a little bit more sheerness to the concealer here. You can also use this as a highlighter. All right, then in general, I just like to go and blend it in with the bud. And because it's a cream, we're just gonna let it set for just a minute here. Okay. So I got my main uh, problem spots covered up. I'm just putting a little bit on my eyes here. Okay. So then we're gonna come in with our liquid touch foundation. This is in taffeta, it's also a very neutral color. Let me use the liquid foundation brush. You'll notice it's got a little bit of a dip in it. And this is just to help spread the color more evenly. Sometimes we're gonna rub too hard with this, and if that's the case, you just move your hand up here versus down here, where you tend to get a little bit more um, intense with your strokes here. So we're just blending it all in. This is a mineral-based foundation, so it's really, really gonna cover well while letting your skin breathe, which is humongous for anyone with acne-prone skin. Um, it's good in general for everyone. <laughs> But, look at how amazing that coverage is. I mean, seriously. And you don't feel like you're wearing clown makeup. That's the biggest thing. I'm gonna get all the way down into your neckline. Gosh, isn't that amazing? Like how much that looks awesome already? So, I'm gonna let that dry just a second. <clears throat> Again, this dries to a powder. All you need is a couple drops. This thing will last you about 100 drops or so. Then, personally, this helps with um, oil coverage is to use that pressed powder. And we're just gonna fill it in here. Just dabbing it on. Okay. 
and voila. I mean, that's a pretty flawless space, right?